it's Dr. Gaines from the Melville School District with uh, our weekly data update. So we're gonna start with transmission rate and you know what? It's staying pretty steady. We did go from 1.02 to 1.03 across the region, but we've been really steady in terms of transmission rate uh, for quite some time. We did have that one, one reporting period without data that shows there's a big decrease but overall we've been stable. In terms of positivity rate, uh, which is a county measure, after a long decline, we kind of kind of bottomed out a little bit. We saw a little bit of bump, but now we just keep hovering over the last uh, several days between four and five. And you can see that on the seven, 14 and 21 day trends. Uh, we just seem to be in that narrow band of where things are going. In the percent change of daily new cases, uh, it continues to be erratic, um, ups followed by downs. And then in our cases per 100,000, when we look at the zip code, uh, we have seen a little bit of a bump uh, up in the last few days. We've gone from kind of the mid to kind of mid to high teens into the low 20s. And we can see that on the, se the seven and 14 day measures, we're a little bit flatter over the 21 day measure because we had that decline and then that little bump up. When we look at age band data, we've seen a fair amount of stability in the elementary and middle school age groups and we've seen a significant decline among the high school age groups. Now, when we look at that over the seven, 14 and 21 day period, we can see that decline in the high school age group as well. And that's part of the reason that we're bringing high school back on October 27th in our blended model. Another reason is the age band positivity rate. Those continue to be, um, nice and low in the green and now we've had high school hit that green level for the first time now when we look internally we publish this dashboard on our website every monday and it's for the prior week so over the the last week the week that ended last sunday uh, we've had a few more cases We've had a lot more kids in the buildings. Last week, we tripled the number of students in our buildings. So we anticipated that we would see an increase, and we did. And we can look at it week over week, and we can see that with K2 only here, our numbers were relatively low. But as we brought more students back, we've seen those numbers go up. Those numbers have been in the community now we're just seeing them in the buildings. So the plan is going to be unchanged. Uh, we still have pre-K-8 in our blended model, and our plan is to bring high school into the blended model on October 27th. We are working to see how and when we can bring uh, more, more kids back more days. Uh, and that's something that we continue to work on. In the meantime, you know, always, 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 we keep asking, please make sure you're wearing your mask when you're out and about, and when you're with other folks. Please avoid those large gatherings. And, um, you know, according to some experts, they're kind of getting worried about these small household gatherings as well. Be sure to limit your physical contact with other people and be sure to social distance. You know, by everyone doing all of these things, hopefully we can continue to see those numbers going low or staying level, not going up. And that means more and more kids are able to come back to school and we're able to serve more. So thank you all for taking some time to listen. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.